And hello again, everybody. How is it going? We are back with more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. In the last episode, we finished off Red's Trials, uh, defeating the... Uh, what are they called? I forget what they were called. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, after that, we, ju we jumped on a boat and headed down what looked like a live stream river. We don't know where they're going, but we are back with Zack. So we are going to see where Biggs is leading us. So, how's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through There's ten no times that shit. Are we talking right about the same cloud? Come on. The the guy's desperate to prove himself, and unlike he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. Huh. Yeah. Hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A Zack of all trades. Why? Because one's not enough. It's just wild. Think about it. Okay, so he definitely knows who Cloud is. This is definitely a, he's from the other side. Get a load of this. <laughs> okay, let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off pedal lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks will risk it all. Wait, don't tell me you're going. The things I do for friends. Kind of wonder how that rift looks to all the folks topside. Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. Or all the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after it's I joined Shinra, like for draining the a lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. Hey, Biggs, you said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah? Cause one's not enough, so who's the one? <laughs> Cloud, he didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So, uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird, my internal clock's busted. Yeah. Mine too. What's that about anyway? <laughs> Good These question. Days, every time I sleep, I dream about all the things I wish I'd done differently. Mm. So, what do you think's gonna happen to our baby? Don't know. It's the longest hey, we've been in this dimension. I just don't. Treat you and yours to something you know, special, but remember, only mm -hmm. one per person. I think I prefer being number two or three. It suits me much better. Yeah. Like the Why guy who only has to worry candy? about the how. I just will get some doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. And who might that be? Uh. Whoever brought you back, I guess. And assuming there was someone, you were the guy with Aerith. Who could it have been? Right? That's a good question. Are we ever gonna get to be grown-ups? Hmm. 
That's actually a really depressing thing for a kid to say. Jeez, are we ever going to get to be grown-ups? Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. That don't look good. There's a motorcycle. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? Oh god, <laughs> not her again. Hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. Biggs! It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know what matters most of all when the going gets tough i don't know hopes dreams maybe something like that so long as we've got those and hold on tight and never let go like this like like your life depends on it <laughs> the world's lucky to have you it's a start anyway i gotta run I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. Hmm. Home, huh? back welcome home welcome home guess who i just saw biggs really uh. said he'd visit too oh yay <laughs> did he say anything about daddy or tifa oh uh sorry forgot to ask oh <laughs> zach would you mind checking on Aerith for me Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. It's me. The wind, that was you, wasn't it? Hello in there.
Huh. Wild. She felt that. She absolutely felt that. We've arrived. Gee, that's what they were. The gee. We are in a new territory with them. Quit trying to show off. Hmm? Oh. Uh, dude? Welcome to the village of the Gee. Cool, so we're just in Death Village now, huh? Oh boy. Mm boy. So what does barrier do that that's weird. Alright. Hello, forgot weapon. For whom? Ceremonial stuff. Oh, that's an Aerith weapon. Ugh. God, really? How much does it add? 17 and 33. Jeez. Conjure ward. Fill ATP gauge within the ward to increase your allies. Okay, well. What am I losing? Healing, magic efficiency, and cleansing. Okay. Can I give her better armor? Spiritual armlet. Nobody's. That'll make up for it. Okay. Lowers her defense by 17, though. Yikes. Anything else worth a damn? <laughs> Fire damage up.
How's everybody's health? Everybody is dandy. All right, well. Where are we at in Death Village? Nowhere yet. Why are you the one leaving? Welcome to our domain, children of the planet. <laughs> Y'all hear that just now? Our flesh is gone, yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. So are you like an alien? I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. to the planet and so she rejects them because you have to come from the life stream to return to it which means these dudes can't die right <laughs> they're invincible i'm not sure that's something to celebrate being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death as if you know anything about dying uh, i mean are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. Gee, who does that sound like? You and me both. Exactly. Whatever it is, it's up there. It was our fate to be spurned by the planet forevermore. Thus did we resolve to forge our own path to salvation. With materia, you mean? We long to lay hands on the materia of peace. I think I know what that means. Oh yeah, this is another arena right here. 
Three, two, one. Petrified. Shit. in this arena. I don't see anything, so... There is but one thing that can deliver up to us ultimate salvation. And that is materia. So an ultimate materia? Where is it? You gotta tell me! In the materia of peace, we shall find and there is an Ultima material, not Ultimate, but Ultima. Got 99 that I can craft. Hopefully I won't 
be told, unable to pick up for a while. Though. Our ultimate salvation is cessation. It is a nothingness. Our wish is not to exist, but rather to no longer exist. Ultimate salvation is nothingness? Okay. Oh, this doesn't look ominous at all. We're almost there, though. Oh, that's I don't know about y'all, but I got a sinking feeling. I think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. Well, they brought us here for a particular and if the reason. And the won't let them have it. Well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. A little late for that. Yeah, as I say, we are here. Oh, there he is. think he wants us to do for him. Steeped in our one desire, pure is the material no more. With pain and spite, a lack of love. Oh no. Steeped in our it's the other desire, one. Pure is the material no more. With pain and spite, a lack of love. Steeped in our one desire, pure is the material no more. With God. I was thinking it was the white materia, not the black. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. Oh, the 
resurrection crap. Sorcerer! Resurrection crap. Holy hell. Note to self, target the sorcerers. Damn, man, that was annoying. Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least. I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. 
I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right breed. <laughs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. It appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. We're back? Yeah. We need to get moving. Right. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. I gotta trek all the way back now, it's huh? It's good to see you again. Oh god, you. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. Alright, where's old Bugenheim? <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Those or what? Undead suckers actually think we're gonna give them back their materia. They called it their salvation or whatever. But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? No. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia, too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Well, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my Materia! Uh, so, Kitsa, I gotta ask, how do you know about the Cetra Temple anyway? Uh, well, I, uh, I wouldn't say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They set any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. Spank of the devil. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive mm. me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon. So, where is it? Oh. What did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Cetra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Cetra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Cetra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, 
I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Okay. Speak with one of the guides and they will escort you to various locations in the settlement. Okay, cool. I didn't... Give me the silliness of it. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Yes, get me to... Entrance. Oh, he's just down. Oh no. Nanaki. Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. Not sure why though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. There we go. Nebo Hyam. Nebo Hyam, ain't that? Ratifa and I grew up. Ah, oh, of course. Nibelheim has a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember when you told Gee an attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then. Back to the airstrip we go. Oh. Chadley. Cloud. Proto relic energy signature confirmed. And relatively close to you. Ah, While balls. the signal is on the weaker side, it may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates right away. Ah, great. Seriously, you wait till I have plot. Is he okay? God damn it. Where is it? <sighs> well, color me curious. Oh, I gotta get out of town first. Alright. Am I close to anything that can get me to it? Go here. See if this can't get us to the proto relic. Thanks for that. All right, where is it from here? Everybody ready? Time to find ourselves a new trip. That walls, really?
Well, mother, I was just up there. Another flight. Armor upgrades ten. Okay. What the balls is that? Gotta win it all. Go on. All set. Let's go. Wind is its weakness, huh? Interesting. Fiend Intel. Hmm. All right, well, I am afraid that that is going to have to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope to see you in the next part. In the meantime, y'all, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. Later.